Now see in the next question what is asked it is question number 145 to prevent interference of nitrogen and sulfur okay to detect the presence of halite in organic compound sodium fusion extract is boiled with the correct answer is option number 2 nitric acid theek hai ab now let us try to understand what is this question is all about okay while you detect the presence of halide in an any organic sample right which test you perform which reagent you use we are using silver nitrate test to detect the presence of halide halide means any halogen fluorine chlorine bromine iodine now what is actually the problem is that nitrogen and sulfur usually they used to interfere okay how the sodium cyanide okay is formed due to the presence of nitrogen and sodium sulfide is formed due to the presence of sulfur now what these uh, what they do they actually try to interfere with the halogen test so we used to boil the sodium fusion extract with nitric acid now what is the function of this nitric acid this being a very strongest oxidizing agent it will decompose the sodium cyanide as well as the sodium sulfide present okay so we used to boil the sodium fusion extract with nitric acid while performing the confirmatory test for halide right now see the next question it is question number 146 what is asked in this question you have to identify the reagent the reagent that can distinguish between one butene we have one butene and two butene right aapko batana hai you have to choose the reagent which is able to distinguish between one butene and two butene so the correct answer is ammonical cu2cl2 solution that is cuprous chloride now see how this ammonical cuprous chloride solution is able to distinguish what is the basic difference between one butene and two butene right now when i speak about one butene okay there is a presence of this acidic hydrogen atom this hydrogen atom this is basically a acidic hydrogen atom why because it is connected to the this carbon atom this is sp hybridized carbon atom and i know that the sp hybridized carbon atom is the most electronegative carbon atom because it has a most more s character so it has the presence of one acidic hydrogen atom so on addition of the ammonical cuprous chloride solution it will get one butene will get precipitated out right it will get precipitated while when i speak about the two butene c i am drawing the structure of the two butene the carbon which is sp hybridized it doesn't contain any acidic hydrogen so it show no reaction and hence by using ammonical cuprous chloride solution we can distinguish between one butene and two butene 